So over the last quarter, we've had a couple of really significant events. First, the US government shutdown, which happened in October, which really sent the markets into a bit of a spin. Um, expectations really came through that you know, this was going to have quite a significant impact on markets. But ultimately, when things did get resolved and there did become a bit of a pathway for the relationship between the Republicans and the Democrats in the US to actually get some resolve, it did end up being a quite a positive outcome in relation to markets and markets very quickly recovered after that. However, what did happen is more so later in the quarter, expectations that tapering was actually going to occur from the Fed in relation to their quantitative easing program started to actually increase for a sooner outcome as opposed to going into 2014. Now, this very much came about because some of the data that came through from the US economic outcome was reasonably strong. We had a strong employment number and we had some strong retail sales figures coming through. Now, this is an expectation where, do the Fed really need to buy that much in terms of their securities and do they really need to continue on with their quantitative, quantitative easing program? Um, ultimately, people had an expectation that March next year in 2014 was going to be the likely timing because you have a change in the Fed chairman. So that was also going to be a factor. But ultimately what happened was essentially that they did taper. They did announce that they were going to start to taper into January 2014. And then that then got the markets quite excited. But it's not typically the reaction that we would have had, not necessarily in relation to expectations that you know, a tapering was going to actually cause markets to melt down. And in fact, exactly the opposite happened, right? So we actually ended up in an event after the result, after the announcement came through, markets had a very strong reaction to that. Now, I think that this is more about sell the rumor, buy the fact type situation. A lot of people were cautious going into this particular announcement because the expectation had already been built and that's what caused a lot of the rally. So it's a little bit of a short covering type rally that we've, ex that we've seen. What's going to be more important going into 2014 is very much how the markets then start to digest this information and that's going to be playing out over the course of the first quarter of next year. I think the reaction by markets in relation to the tapering announcement will be very much more sort of data dependent. We will see more volatility coming through in 2014. It will be a situation where the market will start to rely on economic information more so than they have in the past 12 months. Now I say this because now that the Fed have broken the ice in relation to their tapering announcement, what will be very much the critical factors will be how fast is the US economic recovery gaining momentum or is it actually losing momentum? These are two critical factors that will basically dictate the pace to which the Fed actually taper off on their quantitative easing program. That will be a key question mark for markets going forward. I think some of the other factors that we need to take into account as well is also going to be you know, whether or not the European situation starts to really manifest itself into a stronger outcome. And I think that the way that the central bank has reacted in Europe has very much been that they still need a lot of stimulus. They still need a lot to actually get to a point where the recovery itself is going to sort of take off. Now, the fact that the US has started to ease off on their stimulus program means it makes it much more difficult for some of these other regions to actually benefit from that. And they ha almost have to compensate for it. So a lot of factors we have to take into account in the way that the markets are going to react to this is going to be critical. The impact for Australian investors uh, in relation to a lot of the announcements that have been made over the quarter and the outlook for 2014 is very much going to be one currency. We are likely to have a weaker Australian dollar, particularly against the US dollar. Now it's more a fact of the US dollar strengthening as opposed to our currency weakening. 
that's going to be a major impact um, on our market. But we're much closer to that equilibrium point. You know, our expectations are that we might hit the mid 80s in relation to the US dollar. We're not too far from that at the moment. In relation to our equity market, we received a lot of support from overseas over the 2013. Now, that support is not likely to be there in 2014. The theme that we had in 2013 was very much around high dividend paying stocks, that people wanted yield and they were prepared to pay for it. Now, that expectation is not likely to be as strong in 2014 as it has been in 2013. People will be looking for more growth type stocks. They'll be looking for more about what's going to happen in the US specifically, as opposed to just more commodity based plays or dividend yield paying plays. And that's a big factor, two big factors in our market. Thank you.